First of all, you gotta go do you. Um, it's 6 35 in the morning. It's a Tuesday. I woke up like 20 minutes ago I meditated and I just made my apple cider vinegar with water and I thought I'll have a little chat So I wanted to talk about being the best version of yourself First of all, what does it mean to you if you think of yourself as being the absolute best version of yourself? What do you think of? Are you fit? Are you lean? Are you very intelligent? Do you have a big company? Are you a CEO? Do you, you know, earn a specific amount of money? Um, are you traveling the world? Are you like in the best relationship possible with your partner? Are you like doing fun stuff with your friends? Doesn't matter what you think of, what does it mean for you to be the best version of yourself? And spoiler alert, if you want to be the best version of yourself, you have to work at it. Damn. Thing is, I feel like a lot of the things that we think of ourselves as, you know, I want to be this person, I want to do that, I want to make these things happen, means that clearly you're probably not doing it now, or maybe not doing it enough, or maybe you just started doing it, so um, kudos for you for working to be the best version of yourself. Uh, but specifically, I wanted to talk about habits. Um, so, you know, if in your head, the best version of yourself, God, this is such a long word and I keep repeating it. But if in your head, you know, you imagine yourself being a CEO or being a professor or being an amazing doctor or a mother, you need to start working at it, especially um, when it comes to habits. So the thing is like, for example, with me, sometimes I have a habit of when I get really snappy. If I'm in a bad mood, I'll be very snappy and that's gonna come across like rude. Um, and my mom or my boyfriend or whoever, they're gonna be like, hey, stop being so snappy. And I'll be like, damn it. I just, it's such a habit. I want to get snappy. And you know, Tony Robbins says that whenever you start doing the thing that you know you always do and you don't want to do it anymore, you have to break that state. So you know, you fall into the habit that you always do. And then if you notice it completely, break out of it. So do something stupid. Do like five jumping jacks or be like, oh, a, say a poem. Like just something to completely, completely like mess up your brain and your brain's gonna be like, wait, what? I thought we were, I thought we were being snappy. What's happening? Oh, you know, if you want to be a CEO, but you're like, man, I'm not working enough because I keep watching all these Netflix TV shows or, you know, you want to be a better parent at every time your kid, you know, asks too many questions or says something and you get a little bit frustrated or annoyed, um, break that pattern. So whenever it starts happening, just interrupt it by doing something silly or something completely out of whack because that's gonna break the pattern. And the more times you do it, the more you're gonna start breaking um, the neuro association that's happening in your head because there are certain triggers that trigger, you know, your habit to come out. So for example, if somebody says something that I don't like, um, my initial reaction is gonna be, be snappy, and then it comes across as rude. So, um, for instance, if this happens, you know, somebody says something, I get snappy, I need to get out of state. Especially if you notice it, get out of state. Just like, be like, oh, McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, do, 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 do. exactly, you know? And then you're like, oh, that was okay. What were we saying? Because the thing is, think about it this way. You know when you're sitting and having a really, really intense conversation with someone and you're like so passionate and telling them about something and then somebody else comes in and they're like, oh, hey, um, Gabby, so uh, can you do the dishes later? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll do the dishes later. And then you turn back to the person you were talking to and you're like, I don't remember what I was talking about. That is exactly the perfect example. That is breaking the state. That's breaking, breaking the flow that was happening. So with your bad habits, break the pattern. Whenever it starts to happen, just break it. So being the best version of yourself is you just need to develop some new habits. I'm gonna finish drinking my apple cider vinegar with some water and then I'm gonna go to the gym.
ask you this. What happens when you decide to be the best version of yourself, when you decide, you know what, I'm really gonna go for it? What happens then? Well, there are going to be some friends, maybe family members, maybe your co-workers, your, you know, peers, your roommates, who are gonna be like, you are crazy. You should absolutely not go follow your dream. Uh, first of all, you're not qualified. You've, you've never done it before, you don't have, you're not certified, you're not qualified to do it, what are you talking about? Second of all, you've never done it. So like, how can you do that when you've never done it before? Okay. And third of all, oh man, it's gonna be so hard. Only a couple of people succeed in this. Why would you think that you're gonna succeed? Well, let me tell you this. First of all, you gotta go do you. You absolutely have to go and follow your dream and your passion and do whatever makes your heart happy and your soul happy and make yourself happy. So if there are people who are saying, you know, you can't do it, you're not qualified to do it, block your ears. I can't hear anything that you're saying because I'm so focused on my dream. Do you. When you go through a period of change, when you go through a period of self-growth or maybe you know you had like an epiphany, you had like a spiritual moment and you're like, oh my god, I found my life's purpose or I found something that I'm so, so passionate about, do it. When you go through a specific change and other people perhaps don't go through the same change that you went through, they're not gonna relate, they're not really gonna understand, especially if you know you're changing for the better, you wanna be more productive, you wanna be kinder, you don't wanna judge, you wanna, I don't know, do something great and something big. They're gonna feel intimidated. Um, maybe a couple of, you know, insecurities that they have are gonna come up as judgment. Maybe they don't follow their passion, maybe they're doing something that they don't like, so they're gonna tell you, don't go after it, don't do it. Because if you listened to every single person that ever told you, don't do that, you're not gonna succeed, you're not gonna achieve that, you literally would be sitting in your room not doing anything with your life. There were people that when I wanted to audition for acting schools in London and New York, they told me, you're not gonna get into an acting school. First of all, it's New York, the schools are good, there are a lot of actors, you're not gonna get in. Second of all, you're not talented. So if I listened to anybody that said that, um, I probably would not be doing anything with my life. As a matter of fact, if you listened to anybody who said you can't do something or somebody who put you down, no great person would have ever achieved anything great. There's this amazing clip that I saw two years ago, three years ago, um, where Jennifer Lopez says, you know, um, people told me that I can't sing, I can't dance, I can't act, so if I listened to every single person who told me that, I would have not gotten to where I am. But second of all, even when I am known for these things, singing, acting, dancing, there are still people who are saying you're not good at it, but you just gotta keep doing you. So block your ears, don't listen to what anybody else is saying, follow your passion, follow your heart, do what makes you happy, and just go for it. I realized that I did not film an outro, so... Here's my outro. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope something spoke to you. Maybe you heard something that really, really, you know, um, caught your attention. I hope you're being the best version of yourself and, you know, following your dreams, following your heart, doing what you like and not listening to anyone else. Except if they are saying nice things or it's constructive criticism, then um, it's, it's a good thing to listen. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post every Sunday, so I'll see you Sunday. Bye. As being the CEO of your company, that's my alarm.